All right, and welcome back. In this video, we are going to be going through Chapter 7, Section 4, titled A Postulate for Similar Triangles. And by the end of this video, we should be able to use the AA similarity postulate to prove triangles similar and use similar triangles to deduce information about segments or angles. So let's have out your guide and notes. Let's begin. So to prove two triangles congruent, you didn't need to compare all six pairs of corresponding parts. Postulates and theorems gave you easier ways to prove congruence. There are also postulates and theorems for proving triangles similar without comparing all of the corresponding parts. Introduce the angle-angle, or the AA, similarity postulate. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. With this, please try it out and work on problems one through six on the guide and notes and resume when you're ready to move forward. In example number one, we are given the current diagram. We have an outside triangle, ABC, an, in, an, interior, an interior triangle, or an inside triangle, ARS. We're given that RS is parallel to BC, and we're given different values alongside the triangles, and we are asked to find the values of X and Y. Well, as we look through our solution here, again, we know RS is parallel to BC, so corresponding angles are congruent. Likewise, we're going to know that triangle ASR is similar to triangle ACB. ASR and ACB. So our smaller triangle is similar to our bigger triangle. And we know that we have corresponding angles, ARS and ABC. Likewise, we have ASR and ACB. And we have angle A is shared in both. Redrawing the triangles over on the right-hand side, we're going to be able to notice that AS is equal to 10. We're given that. AC is 10 plus Y. We're also given that AR is 8. And then AB would be 8 plus 4, which is 12. Knowing this, it'll help us to solve for now X and Y. Well, as we set up our proportions, 8 over 12 is equal to X over 15, which is equal to 10 over 10 plus Y. We can break it up. 8 thirds is, or 8 over 12, I should say, pardon me, is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is equal to X over 15. We solve for X and we get that X is going to be equal to 10. Likewise, we know that 2 thirds is going to be equal to 10 over 10 plus Y. As we multiply 2 with the, product, with the, the quantity of 10 plus Y, we get 20 plus 2Y, and 3 times 10 gives us 30. So therefore, y is going to be equal to 5. And with this, please work on problems 7 through 12 on the guide and notes and resume when you're ready for one more example. In example number 2, we're asked to prove that the product of BD and CA is equal to the product of BC and DE. While we're given, angle 1 is going to be congruent to angle number 2. So let's plan out this proof. An equation like BD times CA equals BC times DE comes from applying the means extremes property of proportions. So to find the proportion, we're going to place BD and CA so they will be multiplied when the means extremes property is applied, like so over on the right-hand side. Now place BC and DE so that the numerators contain the parts of one triangle, the denominators contain the parts of the other triangle shown over on the right hand side now and from here you can get this proportion if we're able to know that triangle bde is similar to triangle bca so that's a pretty good plan for how we're going to tackle this proof and you're going to be tackling this proof for problem number 13 and then separately for problem number 14 you're going to have another proof so please work on problems 13 and 14 on the guide and notes great job with this keep up the good work Keep making yourself proud. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you soon.